Hi and welcome to another Decred news update. Decred is money evolved because it adapts and improves over time thanks to its governance abilities and sustainability via its self-funded treasury. We had a Decred developer ask me anything on Reddit with a ton of great questions and answers. Let's quickly go over some of the top answers. When asked what's coming next for Decred, lead developer Dave Collins says peer-to-peer -peer mixing is coming and that he is working towards efficient and scalable scaffolding for supporting things such as NFTs in a truly decentralized way as opposed to the typical way where they just point at a URL that can be changed at any time while still calling it an NFT. Dave says he follows the underlying advances in cryptocurrency technology rather than any select coins. He also says he would not have supported ASIC mining now knowing how centralized it is and that he'd like to see more developers building on Decred. Dex developer Buck says that the market maker and arbitrage bots are coming along and should take around 6-12 to 12 weeks to finalize. He also confirmed that Polygon USDC was already implemented and should be the blockchain of choice for USDC due to lower fees. The Decred ticket price hit a new all-time high. At a massive 700 Decred per ticket, this was by far the highest we've ever seen for entry into Decred's proof-of-stake mining system. Now let's dive into development updates. Decred version 1.8.1 is here and includes updates to the RPC server. VSPs also saw a number of bug fixes and improvements. DCR DEX version 0.6.3 is also now supported on Decredathon, so make sure to download the new software at Decred.org. We are now entering month number two of mining with GPUs on the Blake 3 hashing algorithm. Let's talk Decred GPU mining software. If you're looking to mine Decred with your GPU, there are two software options. GoMiner supports Decred mining on OpenCL and CUDA devices, including AMD and NVIDIA GPUs. The build and setup processes are well documented. BZMiner supports mining Decred on AMD, NVIDIA, and Intel GPUs. BZMiner has a long list of features and can achieve higher hash rates compared to GoMiner. And of course, if you need any help with mining, you can join us at chat.decred.org in the Proof of Work Mining chat room. In Decred's full node, DCRD, developers improved internal error handling in the RPC server to make the code cleaner and harder to misuse. In DCR Wallet, the VSP fee calculation was updated for the new block reward split. For Decred's GUI wallet, Decrediton, developers enabled Ledger on mainnet. This has been tested on Linux, Windows, and Mac OS on Nano X and Nano S Plus devices. Developers also updated the DCR DEX module to version 0.6.3 and enabled its new extension mode to protect the Crediton's wallet from being misconfigured in the DEX window. The Chinese translation was also updated. Decred's voting service provider software had a few updates for users and admins, including adding separate expired and missed ticket counts on the VSP homepage, updated VSP fee calculations consider the new block reward split, Changes for VSP admins are as follows. Added a new admin page that lists all tickets which were registered with the VSP but missed their votes. Optimized discovery of voted and revoked tickets to run twice as fast. And improved responsiveness of handling shutdown requests. And for internal and developer changes, restored the ability to run VSPD on SimNet. This is needed by DCR DEX to test new VSP staking features. Made small performance optimizations by making a better use of DCRD and reworked how components are created, started, and stopped to decouple and simplify code and lots of other code cleanup. The switch to Blake 3 mining has triggered a refresh of the Go miner code base after almost three years of little development activity. Besides adding Blake 3 GPU mining support, effort has been made to automate or document the setup process to address multiple pain points reported by the miners. The README now includes OpenCL, AMD, NVIDIA build instructions for Linux, and configuration instructions. There's also user-reported hash rates. And finally, there were improvements to shutdown handling and a number of fixes and cleanups in the code. DCR Pool is server software for running a mining pool. Similar to GoMiner, DCR Pool development has been reactivated after a period of low activity. Since summer 2021, developers added Blake 3 support to the internal CPU miner, which is used for testing, improved accuracy when calculating the number of possible iterations, improved log messages to trace clients that time out, improved signal handling to shut down more cleanly on more variants of Unix and Windows. Developers also corrected shutdown logic, fixed some cases where configuration errors were not being logged, and there were some fixes with cancellation, shutdown logic, error handling, and other edge cases. The documentation was also updated and simplified for build and setup instructions. Bison Relay Decrypt's peer-to-peer -peer communication software is on version 0.1.9 with a few new changes including automatic unsubscribing and kicking from group chats of users idle for 60 days, improved listing of users' posts, a button to reset all old key exchanges, the mobile UI design implementation can be tested by reducing the window width, DCR DEX is a non-custodial, privacy-respecting exchange for trustless trading powered by atomic swaps. For the version 0.6.3 release, 
added extension mode, a restricted mode where DCR decks won't allow to change settings like wallet type, wallet password, or wallet accounts. This will protect the wallet from misconfiguration when the DEX is running as part of Decrediton. Developers added a minimal GUI for VSP staking, for things like ticket purchases and ticket prices, among other staking features. For privacy coin Firo, implemented Firo block parsing to enable fee estimation on testnet. For Ethereum, implemented WebSocket subscription so the DEX server could get new block headers from the chain data provider more efficiently. Implemented a smart contract for getting balances of ETH and any number of tokens to greatly reduce the request rate to providers. Developers also finished the initial Polygon support generalized the Ethereum wallet and server backend to reuse the common code, and deployed USDC swap contracts on Polygon mainnet. Updated token-related UI code. For user convenience, Polygon and Ethereum wallets will use the same seed and derive the same private keys and addresses. Added support for wrapped tokens, wrapped Bitcoin, and wrapped Ethereum, and adjusted gas rates based on testing results. For the client GUI, improved active orders UI, showing live orders and recent orders in one table, show the average traded rate in several places, and skip redundant password entry steps from creating an account on the DEX server. For the client backend, implemented asynchronous notifications that wallets can send to the GUI, added interfaces to retrieve the history of wallet transactions, optimize exchange rates fetching, logic, and timeouts, and fix the possibility of unexpected bond expiration and cancellation of all orders. And for the client, implemented an arbitrage bot with a simple strategy which only places orders when there is an arbitrage opportunity between the DEX and a centralized exchange like Binance. Updated market making UI, now it includes an overview page with all configured market makers and settings pages for each. The configuration is stored in a JSON file. The server now allows for users to disable markets in the config file and allow servers to run without TLS encryption. Developers also fix the desktop build on Debian. CryptoPower is a multi-coin wallet using SPV. A new overview page design was implemented and reorganized featuring three tabs, overview, wallets, and trade. They also added a module showing total asset value in USD. DEX integration is underway with the first few steps of DEX onboarding being added. Also added a modal for receiving funds that can be accessed from anywhere by clicking the receive button. And finally created a prototype Kotlin project for the Android version, which means we should be seeing alpha and beta builds of crypto power on mobile in the future. Now let's take a look at community updates. Phoenix Green had new Decred videos. Decred offers so much utility that it's often hard to describe in a punchy one-liner. So let's have a look at just a few of these. Utility one, sending and receiving. The primary mission of any cryptocurrency is the ability to send and receive money peer-to-peer -peer without the need for a middleman or rent seeker. The Decred network and wallet technology facilitates this very well. On-chain transactions typically cost less than a fraction of a penny and fully complete in approximately five minutes. Utility two, interest for holding. Decred enables coin holders to earn interest while they hold the coin without requiring a third party custodian. Earning interest on your DCR savings allows users to reduce the impact of inflation when holding for the long term. Stakeholder governance. One of Decred's philosophical goals is to give coin holders the final say on every area of development and spending. The utility of coinholder governance means coinholders control the direction the project takes. Coinholders have the most to lose so they get the final say. This is in direct contrast to the majority of other financial systems, where an external or temporary entity that typically has very little to lose controls and guides all the decisions and outcomes. DCR DEX is currently in the process of building the Polygon integration and before too long will have a multitude of Polygon USDC pairs, including USDC to Decred. USDC can be transferred in and out of centralized exchanges like Coinbase at almost zero cost using one of the supported platforms like Polygon, which is a layer two Ethereum solution that's a lot cheaper to transact with. Another interesting thing about USDC is Coinbase has now merged it with the USD fiat currency, which means there's no difference between the two. It also intensifies the liquidity as these two currencies are now seen as one. Transaction fees are a fraction of a penny. Limited price fluctuation, high liquidity on all major cryptocurrency pairs, and easy and cheap to move between cryptocurrencies and fiat currencies. Draycott was on the Decred live stream to talk about the upcoming wallet CryptoPower. Just to, for the audience, what kind of features can we look forward to both now and, and going forward? Yeah, so um, we also have coin control. So that um, also gives you more privacy. You can choose which addresses you want to spend from. Um, for Bitcoin, we have the fee rates API. 
so you could use that to select um, um, your fees for sending um, we have the network privacy so basically the app starts with all network um, requests disabled and then you can choose to enable them um, we also have the gap limit which helps um, restore wallets um, find used addresses faster do you guys plan on adding the DEX to the mobile version of CryptoPower? So we are looking at that currently, but um, it might not be practical, you know, but um, it's still too early to tell. So <clears> when we get to that stage, we'll be able to determine if it's something that we could have to the mobile or we could um, just leave it as a desktop only feature. The Decred PR proposal phase five was rejected with a voting outcome of 53% yes and 46% no, with over 23,000 votes cast, making for a 55% voter turnout. A minimal approval of 60% is needed for a proposal to pass. This will be the first time in five years Decred will not have contractors working on PR and media relations, so it'll be even more important for the community to come together to work on Decred's outreach. The O'Daily content proposal was also rejected with an approval rate of 30%. Over 10,000 votes were cast with a 28% voter turnout. The purpose of this proposal was to create articles on O'Daily's Chinese-speaking media site and promotion on their social media channels. The Cake Wallet integration proposal passed with 88% voter approval with a 59% voter turnout, having nearly 25,000 votes cast. Cake Wallet is a great fit for Decred as it's open source, privacy-centric, cross-platform, and has exchange integration, making it a very versatile wallet. It's also beautiful and well-designed, I might add. Thanks for watching this Decred news update. Be sure to check out Decred.org to learn more about the project. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at Decred.org.